everyone. Welcome to Calvin Man. The post that I'm going to, or the video, I guess, if you want to call it that, that I'm going to be showing you guys is from a few days ago. It's not something that's been recent. Um, as you probably have seen and heard on online, I've been having some computer issues and uh, I've tried for a week to get a video up and running. Uh, the one where we've had a grandkids but um, I don't know what's going on I don't know if the video that I took was bad or what but uh, it seems to have an issue uploading onto YouTube so the video that you're gonna see was from a few days ago where me and Julie um, were planting new plants in our garden here outside so I'm gonna let you guys watch that and then I'll be back yeah. As you can see, um, Julie and I are starting to plant some plants that we got. Um, Julie went and got about four more plants today while I was sleeping. And uh, what we're trying to plant right now is uh, mums and hibiscus plants. Um, I think I mentioned that once before in the other video. Um, as you can see over here, We've already planted the the ornamental grass and the lilies, the lilies right there. Um, we took those plants there and we moved them. They were up here in between the the two sets of uh, ornamental grass. They were right in the middle, and we moved them out in the center. Um, Julie just bought those two. Those are daylily plants right there. And uh, then there's that one that's already been there. We don't know what color that one is. But uh, I don't even know what the color of the new ones are. Kind of like a reddish day lily. Yeah, that's a reddish color, reddish orange. Yeah, desert flame. It's it's called. And then this one is a pink and a red, which will go nice with the other. Pink and the red, and what is that called? That is called a focus. There we go. Strawberry candy. And like we said, or like I said, 
We don't know what this one here is. I'm what color is? It's probably an orange or the yellow. Normal. Probably the yellow. So that's why I kind of want to move it. But uh, yeah, we've got quite a bit of planning to do. This ground isn't the easiest. No, it's got clay. It's pretty clay. It has pretty much a lot of clay in it. And what we were doing here in the corner is there's a sprinkler head there. So we already knew that there was underground sprinkling in this whole complex. But what I don't know is where is that line coming in? If is, is it coming in this way? Is it coming in this way or this way? I don't know. And those lines are made of plastic. And I don't want to take the shovel and pry on it and all of a sudden I break a, a water line. So we got to go real slow using that shovel. I, there's no way I can use a small hand shovel. This ground has way too much clay in it. As you can see, this is very, very compacting clay. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve plants to to do. So we got a ways to go. Just in case you guys don't know what I'm doing when I pull the plants out of the the pots. Where is it? Ooh, the pots right there. Um, because these plants are such are they're such root bound that you need to break up the roots a little bit in order for it to for the roots to spread out and grow better. So that's that's what I'm doing. This is what I'm talking about when I say root bound. See how all they're, they're just mound together? You just gotta break it up a bit. It just encourages growth. And you don't have to worry about breaking the roots. They, they recover. Well, we're all done. They're all planted. I've, and I, like I said before, this one's going to go in when it starts getting super cold outside. Yes, that that won't make it in the winter time. 
In fact, it's been getting pretty close to being too cold for it um, lately. It's been in the in the 50s. But uh, yeah, these uh, all these plants, well, mainly these lilies, they are a very hardy plant. It is hard to kill those things. Um, I could have taken that that middle one and chopped it right in half and moved them completely in different spots and they would have come back it looks kind of sickly now but that's only because that it's uh it's dying out for the winter um yeah and i mean you can see even like on these hostas there's little yellowish they're starting to die out for the winter and uh, they'll come back. There's there's no doubt in my mind that they'll come back. Even these lilies that kind of, the flowers are kind of dropping off there. Those ones are in shock from being transplanted. But they'll also come back. Yeah. Those will come, all these plants will come back next year. Mm -hmm. um, so, it's they'll a... They'll all go through a little bit of a shock just from being transplanted. And then they'll bounce back and then they'll die out for the winter. Right, right. Even that one hosta there in the pot, um, I thought it was it was dying uh, last year, um, but it had to go through a, a dormant stage before it could come back like it is now. It didn't flower yet this year, um, maybe because it I, I, I kind of shocked it, really it a little bit. Dormant, and that, so then it's all off base for when it's supposed to be there. Oh, okay. um, it's all it cycles all messed up. Yeah, so um, it'll go through a dormant stage again this year and uh, hopefully next year because this one has some, they're not pie plate, but they're, I'll get it, dear. You're, you're trying to kill yourself trying to do that. Maybe we're going to have to put it right behind us. But uh, it has very, very big yellow flowers, all yellow. And like I, like we said, we don't know what color flowers. They're probably the orangish kind. Those are the most popular here. Yeah. Um, yellowy color ones. And uh, yellowy orange, yeah. kind of. I'll I'll fix it. I'll fix it. But we don't know what color flowers those are. Julie looked those plants up, and all these little. This one I have a name for. That one I do not. Okay. All those little Christmas tree looking ends, those are what flower normally. And uh, we'll uh, we'll see what color they are. They range anywhere between white and I think there was some red, was right? Like five, five or six colors on there. Pink. Five or six different colors that those could be. So we'll see. We'll see. Yep. I'd like to know what this plant is back here, but I have no idea. Yeah. We have no it idea. It looks like a good hardy plant, but I have no idea what it does, what it is. Yeah, and even what color flower, if it even flowers. I think it flowers, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. But all these hibiscus and all these mums, well, this is the only one that's going to be like a whitish flower. The other ones are called chocolate cherry. Chocolate cherry latte. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 uh. That hibiscus, that hibiscus, Those focus, two. that one, that one, and that one are all called uh, chocolate cherry latte, which are kind of like a pinkish white, I don't know, it's it's a goofy color. It's all like marbled into one another. And then that hi, uh, mum is purple, that one is red. And then that one on the very end is orange. And then we have the same pattern on the side. Yeah, you could tell that one's that and one's then, a red one. And then this and that one will be, be an orange. orange. So some of these mums have what, uh, symmetrical. symmetrical. Some of these mums have quite a few buds on them, like that one there. You can see the buds on them. That one has quite a few on it. But uh, we'll see once it starts getting a little colder. Um, all these, well, not the hibiscus. I don't think the, other than that hibiscus there, I don't think the hibiscus will flower again this year. this year. The but, middle one will. But. but next year, we're thinking it will. If it 
gets warm enough. If it gets too cold, that might just die out the way it is. Well, I don't think, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I got to get kind of cleaned up for, we're going to meet uh, Julie's son out for dinner. And uh, I don't have a story for you today. Hopefully, I think of one uh, <laughs> next time. But I'm hoping that you guys are liking the the um, the quotes that I put on the beginning and the stories that I put on at the end. So let me know in the in the comments below. Uh, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and uh, click on the bell, and uh, so you get notification that uh, I put a new video out. So so with that being said, all right, guys. I'm back real quick. I'm going to break in just for a tad bit. Um, just wanted to show you how well the plants are doing. As you can see, they're not dead yet. So they're doing pretty well. Obviously, the, the flowers are, are blooming a little bit better. Um, this one really bloomed big. Three, three blooms in three days. Kind of let you see what that one looks like. Again, I'm not going to, I don't think that these other ones will, will bloom this year. Um, but hopefully next year we'll have quite a few flowers on them. And uh, like this one here, you can tell that's already starting to to bloom real good. But uh, yeah, these are doing really well. Um, all of, all the... The flowers on these lilies are dying off, but you know they don't last forever. I think this one needs a little, a little TLC, maybe a little bit more water, and uh, I'll get some water on it tonight. But uh, I'm gonna try to do more videos, um, try to get them out more uh, quickly, more frequently, so that you guys can uh, get a better understanding of the things me and Julie do and how we do it, what we like, what we don't like, all that stuff. But uh, we're going to uh, try to get these videos up and loaded as, as quickly as possible. Um, with, with issues with the computer, I don't know if I'm going to have any more issues. Um, maybe I can uh, just do a couple highlights of uh, the stuff we did with our grandkids the other day. Or actually, it was, uh, it's about a week now. About a week ago now. So try to get a little bit of that on our social media uh, platforms, which those are, let's keep it right in front of me, The there's links to those uh, social media deals right down in the descriptions, so um, if you want, you can uh, follow us on those also, so I'm going to let you go and get uh, back to the normal video. Stay alert, stay safe, to just pray, we'll see you later.